Hello and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin. Great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another fantastic video on my wonderful channel. Right, okay, oh my word. Have a look at this behind me. As you can see, I am down the beach. What beach you're going to ask? I'll tell you, it is Playa Honda in Playa de las Americas on the fantastic, awesome island of Tenerife in the Canary Islands. Fantastic, right? I'm here for 10 nights. Well, come down and check the surf and I'm going to take you on a little bit of a walk uh, in an area some people aren't too keen on but we'll have a look anyway right listen I'm gonna, first of all I'm going to pan round and show you exactly where I am today oh, have a look at this right okay so I am right down Playa de las Americas seafront uh, that direction is Los Cristianos this direction there's about a hundred surfers enjoying the fantastic nice six to eight foot curly overhead beautiful consistent waves of the Atlantic where the water temperature I've just been reliably informed is actually 17 degrees not a bad guess I had it in another video check out them waves nice and consistent wouldn't fancy falling on the uh, rocks there but you know these guys most of them know what they're doing you've got surf school going out there with the nice bright I'll zoom in you've got surf school going out there nice brightly colored boards check them out going out for an afternoon session They'll have them standing up in the next hour or two. And you can just see in the distance Lagomera, which is uh, getting a bit misted out. And uh, over this way towards Costa Adeki. Check this out behind me. I've never, do you know what? I landed today and me and Saf had a little look in here. And uh, it, it's great in here, a little, it says Happy Market. And uh, there's about half a dozen stalls and they sell basically just random stuff. So I thought I'd show you very quickly. Uh, they do like handmade sort of, uh, I don't know what they are, like metal signs. So you can get like a design and your name put on them. There's a little shop that sells like hippie clothes, which uh, Saf absolutely adored. You got some replica football shirts, jewelry, leather goods, belts. Uh, that one is like fridge magnets and little bracelets and stuff, which are really nice. You got some novelty t-shirts there. And uh, again, more jewelry like handmade sort of crafted jewelry there and this little sort of market it's always busy couldn't believe it i've always walked past it but up until today we're... see it depends who you're here with doesn't it on what you do i was here with saf today and that is right up her street so we went in and had a look and uh, i think she's going to get a few little bits and bobs from there she loves a shop right anyway so we're going to go up here <coughs> hope everyone's well thanks for tuning in i'm here for 10 days can't wait got loads lined up it's going to be absolutely awesome tons lined up i've already popped a couple of videos up uh, arrived this morning straight from bournemouth uh, there was myself saf she got through the flight i am so so proud of it because she absolutely hated the thought of flying but she faced that fear and smashed it to bits i tell you and she loves it now she's here she's having a siesta so i'm out late afternoon i'll oh, check this out i'm out late afternoon doing a couple of cheeky little vlogs for you guys showing you what's new and what's happening down in play de las americas mini golf it's neat isn't it uh what's that football billiards so it's basically like a pool table but we're using footballs instead of pool balls that's all right isn't it? Uh, a bit of mini golf two for the price of one and you've got some tennis courts i haven't played tennis for years you still playing tennis in school comment down below do you do any of this when you come to uh, tenerife or anywhere else on holiday do you do a bit of tennis or a bit of mini golf i did mini golf i was i was here in december with my uh, mucker eric and uh, my mate phil and uh, we did a bit of, <laughs> we did a bit of mini golf check it out if you dare go back on my vlogs about three months and you'll see uh, you'll see harry larry and mo trying to play mini golf great laugh Great vlog, really enjoyed it over by Park Santiago in uh, Las Americas. Anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, listen, what I want you to do, I want these videos to go out there and uh, we're going to try and get the channel to grow a little bit on this trip. I think it deserves it. So what I want you to do first of all is hit the thumbs up, right? That sort of sends the video out on YouTube and it tells YouTube that you're, you like what you see and then YouTube sort of pushes you up there, top of the charts, right? So do that doesn't cost you anything the second thing i want you to do if you like the channel if you like me 
or if you're just feeling generous doesn't cost you anything subscribe okay join the club it's a growing army i'm on around about 4,000 people following me which is absolutely awesome i can't believe it i started this channel two years ago for a laugh right put a volcano video up with uh, the help of two legendary vloggers on this fantastic island and i'll name them uh, there was rick who's got a channel called just rick and his, himself and his partner have got another channel called rick and shelly who this week have just hit 9,000 subscribers so congratulations guys love you both uh, and there's another guy called tim dowd living with ms uh, in tenerife was his channel name originally now it's tim dowd and i'll put links down below check their channels out they sort of bullied me <laughs> in the nicest way to start a channel up and here we go two years down the line over half a million views 4,000 almost subscribers and here i am back in tenerife making more daft videos and doing daft stuff so if you like that subscribe and uh, come along and join me because this coming year i've got tons of stuff lined up that i'm going to be putting on uh, on the channel and uh, saf's up for it you're going to see a bit more of saf and uh, we're going to have some fun i tell you going to meet some great people which i includes a lot of you guys watching and uh, we're going to do some great things right uh yeah, i have some nice shops here look moss fashion koala bay oh i like koala bay i've had some shirts from there didn't know there was one here what's this one excuse my pronunciation mar bahia is that beachwear i'm going to show you wait to the end of this video i'm going to show you footwear that i bought back in bournemouth my hometown for six pound i bought them on a whim and i'm telling you something now right the shop i bought them from if you live in any major town in the uk you will have a branch of this shop there's a clue for you and they were six pound and they are the most comfiest footwear i have ever worn on holiday in all my life and they are six pound right so i'm going to tell you get in at the end of this video get into the shop where they buy them and buy them in bulk because this summer they're going to sell out <laughs> and they are the comfiest thing you'll ever wear fellas i suppose i'm women they're the comfiest thing you'll ever wear on your feet if you're walking up and down this promenade ever in your life they beat Haviana flip-flops they beat all these silly puma and adidas sliders that cost about 30 quid these cost six pound so get yourself a pair i'll show you them at the end of the video if i don't forget but you'll have to wait to the end because i've got a load to show you first right uh what we're gonna do i'm gonna walk up here because i've got a bit of an errand to run i've got to go up this way and uh, see a mate of mine funnily enough about a video later in the week and uh then I'm going back to the apartment to uh, rouse Saf from a siesta and we're going to go out for something nice to eat on our first night here in Tenerife. So it's St. Patrick's week this week, uh, loads going on, Cheltenham horse racing festivals going on. Uh, so Webby, my old mucker in there, uh, over in a decade, he's going to be doing his bookmaking in a pub called The Hop and Grapes. And uh, he'll be setting some vlogs out on his channel, Webby Sports Roundup, so take a look there. Uh, obviously St. Patrick's this weekend that's going on as well oh nearly dropped my camera then i'm gonna pan around that's a great restaurant deep blue when i was over here in november i had a nice nice breakfast there uh where's the english bit there you go there's a menu chateau brion two people 55 euro can't be bad can it yeah, I had a, oh, here you go, it's a breakfast menu. Yeah, very nice it was too. So I recommend that one if you're down the front and you want a bit of uh, your bacon and eggs, get yourself in there, deep blue. And uh, if you've got kids with you, there's a little kids play park right next door that you can sit at the restaurant and keep an eye on them. So it's a cracking little venue. And it's one and a half euro a pint, which isn't too bad. What's this? Uh, I can know. Hotel, is this hotel? Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. It's the one next to Veronica's that people complain about because of the noise in Veronica's anyway. <laughs> if you're going to stay in this hotel, right, I'll tell you, what was it Sol Tenerife? That's it. If you're going to stay in this hotel, right, 
ask to get the rooms on this side, on the right hand side as you look away from the beach, right? So basically the side facing Los Cristianos, because if you're sleeping on this side, right, there's a big strip of nightclubs called Veronica's next to it, which are open till anything five, six in the morning in, in their peak times. And they do get a bit noisy and rowdy. So you might get kept awake. So if you're on that side, if you're on that side and you want your beauty sleep, bring some earplugs or ask to change rooms. <laughs> Personally, it wouldn't bother me, but some people want a bit of peace and quiet on holiday, don't they? Which is understandable. Right, okay, so we're gonna crack on. So if you're coming to Tenerife this year, let me know, drop a comment down below, or if you've been already, <laughs> Tell me what you thought, tell me what you got up to. If you've been and you hate the place, tell me why. If you've been and you love the place, tell me why as well. So what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to try. I don't think it's going to work because she's not one for sliding into the sea. But you see them little boats with the slides on top? Them little, like, what are they called? I forget what they're called now. They've got a special name, like Gondola or something. Those ones there. I'm going to straight see if Saf wants to go on one of them. Because I've brought my GoPro with me and my waterproof case. And uh, I haven't been on one for years. I'm just a big kid. So uh, if Saf will go on one with me, jobs are good. And right, we're going to walk up here. Uh, we're going into the back, guys, of a, an area of Playa de las Americas, which... Uh, is notable if you like for being a, a late night area i.e full of bars and clubs it's got a reputation if you check my previous videos i've done walks here in the daytime and i have done walks here in the night time and when i say the night time anything from midnight onwards veronica's bar there now, it was built in this i believe sort of mid to late 80s initially intended as a shopping center it's like on two levels you've got the ground level where we are now and you've got like a first floor on some of the buildings and to be honest with you, in the daytime, the boozers are cracking. If you want to come down and watch the footy and have a decent, reasonably priced pint with no assholes, I recommend this one. That's Yordi's Bar, one of Webby's mates runs that. Cracking little bar. If you want to sit here and people watch, get yourself down in the afternoon. It's largely closed in the afternoon in terms of the bars. But of a night time, it comes alive. It is a different animal. So it's, there you go. There's Veronica's one, which was the first part that was built. Revolution, Jumping Jack Sugar Reef. Got Yordi's here. Then you've got some fast food places there. Uh, there's a couple of, how can I put it? Gentlemen's Club's up on top. <laughs> uh, so you've got plenty of choice. And then of a night time, it's all lit up. Check out my previous vlogs. I've done about a dozen of them. Uh, I'm lucky enough and I know most of the, the guys who sort of manage and work on the security and stuff down there and they're happy for me by and large to go in and film inside. Um, there's not a lot of people on YouTube who actually go in, they tend to walk across the top and film from the top, which is a bit safer admittingly, but me being a nutcase, I like to go inside and show you what's going on. Uh, Oasis, a uh, fairly new one, Mumbu and you've got Envy there, and Joyce Bar, which is, a, hey, that's a good one, Joyce Bar. Uh, there's the famous steps, the iconic steps, used to be Bobby's, Busby's, uh, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, Bobby's, Busby's, all those from the 80s and 90s, that, you know, the older ones amongst you will remember. And it's got a reputation of an evening for being a bit rough, a bit leery. Uh, people say there's a lot of pickpocketing going on, muggins, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> things get sold that shouldn't be sold all that sort of stuff i'm not denying it happens of course but then again what i will say to you guys if you come to play the las americas and you're having a night out papagayo beach bar at the end i believe it's having a refurb so we'll walk past it um yeah if if this is open at a night time it's absolutely stunning if it's having a refurb and they're improving on it then fair play to them because i went in back in december and it is absolutely stunning then. So if, if they're improving on that, then fair play. Yeah, so those things do go on. If you're gonna come down, I always say it, I've said it in loads of my vlogs, if you're gonna come down and get drunk out your head, be a bit reckless, bring a load of cash out with you, flash your Rolex around, 
leave your phone on this wall while you go and talk to some man or woman you've just met down that alleyway then i'm sorry but you're gonna get nicked right you, your stuff's gonna go uh, it's the nature of the beast unfortunately not just here in tenerife but in magaluf in greece blackpool my own town of bournemouth so the message is if you're going to come down and have a night out in veronica's don't be put off by what you read and hear come down and do it but just be flipping careful stick with your mates simple as that yeah have a party get drunk but just bring what cash you need out with you not hundreds because you won't need hundreds because the drinks are reasonable prices not the cheapest in tenerife but not the most expensive don't wander off down the beach down here on your own right because it won't do you any favors and uh, like i say don't leave your stuff lying around all right just stick with your mates and keep your keep your stuff where you can see it and you'll be you'll be fine and then when you've finished your night you do one of two things you don't crash out down here with your phone hanging out your backside pocket what you do is all along here there's taxis right white taxis in the shape of estate cars vans like this one and they have a green light on top if they're available as soon as you see one of them you dive in it you tell the driver where you want to go which hopefully is your own hotel room and he'll take you there for probably about seven or eight euro max depending on where you're staying and you're home safe and sound if you hang around here by yourself you're making yourself vulnerable there you go you've been warned from somebody with over 20 years experience all right <laughs> that's veronica's in the daytime i will do nighttime vlogs on it i'll show you the escape routes i'll show you where to go i'll show you the inside of the bars update it uh, i should have mentioned as well just over the road is another complex of bars which i'm not going to put in this video i'll do another daytime walk up there called starco so you got lineker's uh, highlander irish oak great bars great great bars and that'll show you them on a different video because i've got something in particular coming up for one of them which will be special right what i'll do uh i believe now this is no longer classed as playa de las americas it's classed as costa de decky another koala bay that's huge look at that one and you've got hotel troya behind it which i believe i've never stayed there it's quite a nice hotel so what i'll do we'll just walk up here a bit we'll have a look at the beach and then uh I've got to go and see a man about a dog. Not literally. But you know how it is. The time is now round about. I haven't got a clue. Who cares? It's Tenerife. <laughs> I put my day into time zones when I'm on here. It's get up time, go for breakfast time, have a swim time. Do some vlogging time have a beer time meet your mates time <laughs> enjoy yourself time that's all the time you need over here in tenerife tell me down below if i'm wrong be careful here because uh this doesn't look like a road but it is look yeah it looks exactly the same as the pathway so don't do what i just did and walk straight out yeah, i'll tell you what i'm gonna go over here and then uh I'll let you guys go because I've ranted on long enough about Veronica's. <laughs> there you go, Hotel Troya. Really nice hotel, I believe. Uh, I've booked an apartment this time through Airbnb, which is what, oh, there you go, Night Owl. A lot of people ask me where that is, right? Uh, Hotel Troya that way, Costa Decky up that way. Uh, Chili's Diner Lounge Bar there. And then if you come down here, just to the right, you've got the Night Owl. Uh, run by Mick and Jude, I believe. Uh, home of Northern Soul and Motown. An absolutely banging venue, if you like that sort of music. Live acts on, uh, which I'll tell you what, I'll do a vlog separately on that place. Night Owl, so that's where it is. And I believe it's open till about one in the morning. Business hours are on the front there. It's got a Facebook page, go and have a look. I'm gonna walk up to this corner, guys. Show you a couple of bars on this little walk if you like me walks let me know there's other vloggers on the island as i've said uh, scotsman kev's over this week with uh, his family and friends he's doing some vlogs walking around he knows the place like the back of his hand so go and check his channel out he will tell you a lot more than i can uh, and he'll show you a lot more than i do great great fella great vlogger scotsman in tenerife 
Uh, all things Tenerife keeps coming over as well. He knows the Costa Decky area quite well in other parts. Uh, so check him out. And there's Johnny Vlogger as well. who will be doing all sorts of mad stuff. Uh, if you like your lives with a bit of unpredictability, go and see Johnny Vlogger. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're all over this week. And uh, I'll be doing my bit as well. Amongst entertaining my teenage daughter. Who's here for the Instagram. Oh, sorry, dodgy camera work there, guys. I nearly dropped me for gimbal. Right, so I'll just uh, do a quick pan round here, guys, and we'll call it a day on this video. Went on a bit longer than a fourth, but I did want to show you Veronica's in the daytime. Uh, I've got the drop in there, Monkey Beach Club there, which is a great venue. And uh, that's back over that way towards Playa de las Americas. Absolutely stunning. Right, okay, so a gratuitous shot of the beach before I show you. Uh, <laughs> sun's starting to set now, look, and uh, there's La Gomera. Absolutely beautiful down here. It's still flipping warm. Anyway, listen, forget your Adidas sliders, that snap and cost you 30 quid. Forget your Havianas, uh, that cost you 20 quid, and uh, get nicked at Siam Park. What you want to do is get yourself into Primark before you come on holiday, right, and get a pair of these. Look at them. Now, they don't look much. Six pound a pair, they come in all colours, black, blue, green, yellow, whatever, right? They're made of like one continuous mould of what I'm guessing is some sort of foam, right? And they are the comfiest thing you'll ever wear on your feet here in Tenerife or whatever you're going on holiday. Six pound, highly recommended. Look at that, size 10, they are. And uh, you're walking on air and they keep your feet nice and cool as well. And they're not slippy or nothing like that. And they don't fly off if you have to run over the road to avoid a wally trolley so get yourself a pair of them folks right don't forget <laughs> six pound hit a thumbs up let me know what you think down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video one more time beautiful sunny tenerife take it easy see you soon <laughs>